All right, guys, here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada. We just got here last night. Today is October 12th. So exactly one year ago, I came here and my life changed forever. I know a lot of you guys have been watching the channel and you guys have heard the story about how it's happened. And you guys are probably so curious on what the place looks like and how it actually went down. We were trying to get one quick video done for the day. We ended up coming here and this is gonna be our last spot of the day. Like we ended up riding this thing. I know I did something like, I think I did like a bar spin the manual off of that. We we're just cruising and having fun like on this setup. And it's like, it's a really strange setup here. Like this is like a foundation, but there's no building. Like I don't know if there was something built ever. I don't know if they never got a chance to build it. It's just a really strange setup here. There's a lot of things were going wrong that day. We forgot our pump. All our bikes had flat tires when we got to uh, the palms when we were staying there. We left the palms and I was filming with a GoPro in the parking lot and one of the security guys followed me around uh, telling me I couldn't film. And I left and met my friend Andy Buckworth and Ben Wallace at their car and they were letting me use the pump. And we filmed that and the guy ended up finding us again and kicked us out of there. Also, while we were filming here, our gimbal for the GoPro handle ended up dying. We were just like having the worst luck, but we were still having fun and making do. I'll show you guys around. I'll show you guys pretty much what we did. Like we started out over here, riding this area. And we did a couple things over here on the foundation. Over here is a pretty cool spot. We ended up using this rail. I did like jump the grind on this and then pop over into here, uh, jumped over it as well. And then there's like a small rail over here that we actually did. I remember I ice grinded this handrail that day. And then I ended up getting a big boy to do a couple tricks off of this loading dock. I think I got him to do like 180 off of it and stuff. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you guys exactly how the last trick happened. This is where it all went down. Right over here, there is a gap to ledge right here. So what I ended up doing, I decided that if you guys could see a little bit over here, if you guys could peek over, see there's a bank over there. I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what happened because even myself, like looking at this right now, I don't recognize what, what's going on down there at all. I, I honestly, I don't remember what that looked like. Yeah. So we made it down here, we're at the bottom bit. And that's where it happened. I jumped off somewhere around there, did the downside tail, and I was riding away. And uh, as you can see, there's not much visibility over here. There's a bunch of shrubs in the way. You did like the down whip, you came down here and went directly straight. You rolled up to this, and you saw on the other side, there's what looks, I mean, it's definitely rough, but it looks pretty flat. So you did a little pull up on your bars, just thinking that you were gonna kind of like go through the bush. And then on the other side of this, as you'll see in a second, there's legitimately a hole that your front wheel just went endoed into, and you just went over the bars. Oof. Okay, that well that makes was? a lot more sense now, doesn't it? So here we are on the other side of the bush, and like Big Boy was saying, I rolled through here. And uh, I must have picked up front wheel trying to go through this, thinking that it was flat. But on the other side was this hole right here. So without knowing that hole was there, my front wheel just dropped directly into it. And I immediately went face first into the ground. So it must have been somewhere in this area right here where right it happened. Here. I remember seeing a photo of the area, but like it was just, it was so concentrated, I couldn't see exactly what the flat bomb or anything looked like. So being back here, it makes complete sense on what happened without seeing through these bushes right here and not knowing that there was a hole right there. It was an accident and that's why I call it an accident. I rushed through it. I did the tail up and I figured I'd be okay as I rode past it. Leading up to this, there was even part of me that was wondering like, man, do I really want to go back there? Do I really want to go live this again? But this doesn't bother me at all right now. I'm not, I'm not faced by this. There's not one bit of grief or, or anger that has me in this area right now. I feel better. I really do. This makes sense now to me. Like it, I knew that I landed the trick, and I remember I went blank after that. So now I'm able to piece it together and realize what went wrong. And that feels really good. I feel at ease right now. It's crazy, you know, like thinking about it like that, you know, this is where this area right here changed my life exactly one year ago today. I'm not mad at myself. I'm not mad at anything. And I'm just so glad, so grateful that I'm still alive and I'm still able to move. I just walked down here at my own will, you know? I mean, with a little help from Big Boy, but <laughs> I did make it down here. I'm not mad. I'm really not. It's an accident, guys. I will say that over and over again. I feel at ease right now. I feel at peace. There's no, there's nothing raging inside of me about this. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy to be here too. I would have never thought that that hole was going to be there. Nope. I mean, 
I would have never thought that mattress would have been there either. It's so crazy just to think that like the trick or the area that ended my career was in this random ditch in Las Vegas. It's so so insane to me. Didn't end your career, man. Well, you know, it ended my ability to ride the way I used to. And, Started uh, a new chapter, though. You're totally right. I'm not. I never once have been mad about where I am right now. I'm just, you know, there's part of me that misses being able to get my bike and mm -hmm. do whatever I wanted to do. But it's okay. Like, things are great right now. I'm not going to complain at all. I have so much amazing things going on in my life. Like, I'm currently here right now because I get to go hang out at the Monster Cup. Because I'm still, you know, sponsored by Monster Energy. The biggest company in our sport. So, like, I have nothing to complain about. Nothing at all. I'm alive. I'm ready to enjoy this. I feel good about this, and I hope you guys on YouTube do as well. I hope this pieces together everything for you guys and makes you all feel better about what happened to me. So this is it. We're going to close this chapter right now, and we are actually going to head to the hospital that I went to, and we are going to talk to a few people there that helped me along the way. And I just want to go there and thank them. That's going to be the most important thing for me. I want to be able to sit there and, and thank them for giving me the ability to be back here where I am and to be able to enjoy life. So. Let's get this going, off to UMC. All right, so we're at UMC right now, and uh, this is the hospital I came to right after my injury. It is about 10 miles away from where the accident happened. So this is where I spent from October 12th until November 1st. I got both my neck surgeries done here. I had both of the surgeries done on my skull. So today I'm actually gonna go inside. I'm actually gonna be able to talk to the nurses and the doctors that helped me. And also I'm gonna get an interview with one of the nurses and actually get a first-hand account of just how my injury was. So uh, let's go on in there. I remember feeling this coming out these doors. I remember sitting here on the side and my dad just kept on talking to me over and over again. I remember recording that one uh, video that we did when I had my monster helmet on and I tried talking like on the camera. Hello, hello, we are here. Where are we? UMC. Where we are. UMC, UMC. Yeah, yes, we'll take another take. Okay, so we are with Tammy. Tammy was one of the nurses that I had majority of the time when I was here. Tammy, it's great to see you. You too. It's good to see you uh, on an eye level right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a switch. <laughs> it really is. Can you tell me of what you remember about me and my condition of when I was here? How you remember me being in the chair or like things I used to say or how I used to act? The determination that you had even when you weren't moving your legs. Your determination. You're like, I'm going to ride and at the time, we didn't know, and I, I, I kept trying to get you, let's get you the strongest and the best that you can be, yeah. and look at you now. I, I mean, know, it's a blessing, and you know, miracles right. do happen. That's how I see it. Like, I'm so grateful to be where I am right now, and I plan on using every second that I have on my feet to be able to do something positive, do something fun, and enjoy every moment that I have here. Yeah. And, and your family was a huge support. And your friends, everybody that, you know, the, the cards that your family put up from all your, your you know, your yeah. fans, everybody that believed in you. And, but you believed in yourself. I did, I did. It's just something I did my whole entire life. So like I was always, I, I always set goals for myself and it was no different, I guess, when I was in this injury. No? This was just a minor setback in my head. And I, I saw I wanted to keep on going through it. But here we are, one year exactly from the day that I came into this hospital. And I was able to walk in here and I was able to see all the nurses, be able to see you and say thank you. And I really do appreciate it. Everything that you did to make our lives easier, how nice you were to my parents, how you were able to you know, talk them through it and let them know, you know that, that everything was gonna be okay. Thank you so much. And he wasn't you. supposed to remember this. <laughs> <laughs> There's videos that, that they've shown me with you there and I remembered your voice. That was one thing I remember too. As soon as I saw the video of your face, immediately I recognized your voice. That was one thing that stayed with me the whole time because she was around me nonstop, yeah. day in, day out, all the kind of stuff that we had to endure through that. But this has been great. Thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for being such an amazing nurse because you made an impression on us and we we're really grateful for the treatment that we had. Well, so thank you, you and your family made an impression on us too. Well, thank you so much, Tony. You're an inspiration yeah. to us for what can occur and also we tell your story to other families, Please to do. other patients, because you did it. And not everybody's injury can get back to this level, but, you know, you're who you are, and um, you pushed. You, you're a survivor, and congratulations to Thank you, because I know it hasn't always been easy. I know, I know it could have been easy to take 
the lesser road and just let everybody do everything for you and you never took that road. So right now we are leaving UMC. It felt great to go in there and see everybody. That was such an amazing experience and that actually brought back memories and flashbacks and bits and pieces of my recovery. Like to go outside and see the spot where I spent time with my dad, to be inside the hallway and actually recognize that. All the faces, they all look familiar. This has just been an amazing experience. I'm so happy that I decided to do this. This is one year of my life that has been the hardest that I've ever had to endure. But at the same time, I've learned so much from this and this has made me a better person, a stronger person. I'm proud of what I've become of after this accident. So right now I am closing the year chapter on my injury. I'm still gonna be going to physical therapy. I'm gonna be getting stronger. I'm gonna keep on working to get back on my bike. I'm excited about the future, I really am. I hope you guys enjoyed me bringing you along on this journey. All of you that watch us on YouTube every single day, you guys are such an important factor to our lives. I felt like I needed to bring you guys along on this journey just as much as I needed to go see it for myself. So right now we're gonna end the video, but uh, this is gonna be a great weekend. I'm so excited about going down the Monster Cup. I'm gonna be hanging out there at the race. We have so much in store. There's gonna be off-road kart racing that me and Big Boy are gonna be participating in, and we're gonna bring you guys along for the journey on this one. Here we are making more fun YouTube videos just like we used to before the accident and uh, I couldn't be happier so that's gonna be it so until next time guys remember to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching peace